the least cost battery uh, that's any good is a true deep cycle golf cart battery. These have about 232 amp hours at six volts each, and they can be wired in a series to two in series for a 12 volt battery, four for a 24 volt battery, and eight for a 48 volt battery. <clears throat> uh, they're not that expensive. Uh, they only last about five years though, so they, they don't, there's not a huge upfront expense, but they don't last very long. They do require maintenance, that's adding water, uh, checking the water once a month, adding it as needed. Um, they do outgas sulfuric acid and hydrogen gas, uh, so they, they have some issues. Uh, they're an older technology. Uh, we still use it because it's still cost effective. Uh, if these batteries don't have enough embedded stored energy, the next size up is what's known as an L16. Uh, it's an industrial battery, so instead of being motive for golf carts, these were designed for running a floor refinishing device. <clears throat> we repurpose them for off-grid systems though. Uh, these are about uh, 380 or 385 amp hours at 6 volts each. Uh, they last maybe 8 or 10 years. Uh, they also require water. You have to do maintenance. They require equalization charge once a month. Uh, these type of battery, uh, if they're treated well, they're, they're really quite good. If they're not treated well, they will fail prematurely. Uh, they don't like what's called partial state of charge. So partial state of charge occurs with solar systems <clears throat> where you only get maybe a six hour window per day of charging time and then the battery spending 18 hours of its life in a discharge, partially discharged state. That's not what it likes. It wants to be charged all the time. Um, or you can discharge and then immediately bring it back full again. That doesn't usually happen uh, without a generator as part of the system. So uh, lead acid, you know, it has its limitations. It's from the 1880s. There were no solar panels then. Uh, so we do have more advanced batteries.